totally worked really bad, and I had the power potion too. That's really scary. <laughs> Okay, no more power potion. Probably can't take a single hit. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> well, I think he's gonna throw something at me for a second for some reason. <laughs> Ah. Not quite. One more hit. I'm done for. Come on. Gotcha! And we just leveled up two times in like a half. That's crazy. Because he was like level 15, I think. So this shield seems to have some uh, a, a, a description on it. So let's uh, read it. I conjure you, ancient serpent, by the judge of the living and the dead, by that which has the power to send you to the icy hell of Valaskayev. The icy hell of Valaskayev. That's the, that's the gates of Valaskayev. That's the last part of the spiritual ancestry uh, vision that we had. So we are getting clues. So apparently Vask, I have something cold, someplace cold? I don't know. So, um... We're now level 11, so we can now use the, uh, at level 10, we can use the Hell Swing, which is a longsword special ability. And, uh, hopefully now I'll be able to prove that these things are actually worthwhile. So let's try it out. Hell Swing! Ooh, that looks like that's gonna hurt, and it's not too hard to perform either. Nice. Very good. That was a very good fight. So, before we leave though, you may see that there's a rune symbol up there. And every time you see that symbol, that means the rune's nearby. So we have two chances to hit this button. <laughs> All we need is one. Alright. Actually, the longsword gives less defense um, penalty than the uh, Death Sword. That's funny. The Long Sword's a really gem to find. It'd be hard if I didn't have this. Gotta still have the Death Sword only. Oh boy! Run, dude! Oh, God! Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, not quite! Of how Ahura Mazda, heavy of heart at the sin of his sons, the gods, withdrew himself to the far depths of the universe. And how since then he has not been seen by the Avestus, from where the wise men say he will only return at the end of time. All right. Three runes down. Nice. So uh, we're just getting more, um, I guess, literature about the... Zoroterrorism, wherever it's called, religion that this game uh, uses as a uh, plot device. But, as you remember, we used a power potion, and there's one laying just asking to be picked up, so let's go get it. Oh! For first skeletons, let's try the hell swing out. See what it does. Ooh, it almost kills him instantly. I like it. It's easy to hit, and it's a good wide arc, too, and it's fast. Wow, man, that's awesome. Woohoo! I'm liking it, man. I'm liking it. You guys are giving me experience, too. I'm almost, I'm almost fighting. The, you, the more experience you get, I mean, leveling up gives you more stamina, more hit points, I think more defense and more power by a little bit, and plus you can use better weapons. Or you can... Oh, you unlock combos. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh shit! I'll give myself enough time to recover here. Nice! Ooh, ooh, just... Not quite. I'm very happy with that. 
What I need to check, though, is see... Okay, so I'm level 11, so if I have a slaying sword, I can use a move called Bloodlust, which actually looks like kind of a hard combo. Look at that. Jeez, it's like three different things. So I'm level 11, so I can use Shredder, and then I can use Hellwind, which is actually my highest common ability. So let's try Shredder. No, you need two-handed axes for Shredder. Okay, so Hellwind would be our next, our next thing, which is uh, attack up and then attack. I'm not level 12 yet, though. So let's try uh, the Sky Smash. Can I use that yet, the Sky Smash? There you go. There's a Sky Smash for you. It's actually kind of stupid. I'm not going to use it ever. Because that up attack is so hard to time. That's like one of the slowest moves I have. Oh, hey there, Barbarian. Your face is beautiful. So like I said, we're not uh, leaving this power potion go, because like I said, that could be life or death. That power potion really helped us get a good uh, hit on the uh, flame skeleton. And that music was really cool. I think that music's unique to like major bosses, and I consider that one a boss. Like If you think about it, the only other boss was like the, the big ogre at the end of level 2. But I consider that one with a whole separate music and has like a whole plot device and everything to be the actual boss. But uh, we got some more coming, so don't worry. Alright, it looks like the only place that left to go is that chapel. And I'm sure there's gonna be more skeleton. Yep. Pretty strong skeletons, holy crap. A thousand hit points. But we almost got him. Almost, one more hit. I can almost perform two of this at the same time. I think if I'm level 12, I'll be able to. In my it, Apparently, it, it, it my uh, left attack is really good at interrupting people, because I just did it like 3,000 times. <laughs> Come on. What are you waiting for? Loving it. Death Dealer takes a little bit. Whenever he has to like flip the hilt in his in his hand to get a inertia or whatever to build up acceleration of his sword velocity, I guess, not acceleration. It uh seems to be a little harder to time right. Who are you, man? They're all level. They're all level ten too, which is one level below me, which is. Decent experience. Better than nothing. I'm almost level 12, so it's definitely worth fighting everything I can. That's the way I see it. Pretty much do half their damn, half their um, hit points in one strike. I like it. Like it a lot. We're almost there, man. All right, so what do we got? Entrance to the chapel. Looks like we're not the only people uh, attending service today. There's a statue of a fear we saw in the intro. Ah, didn't see that coming. Biting axe. Looks like something for the uh, dwarf. Too small for the barbarian. <laughs> Just like Dark Souls, though, you're uh, when you in, when you when you uh, commit to a, a move, you're pretty much locked into it, which I do love. I love that type of uh, combat. Come on, this is pathetic. Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? One shot. Hit him from the back too. That's a really good hitbox of that arc. All right, there's the Ephira Tomb Oracle. The king alone holds the key that will lead to the heart of his beloved. Are you perchance the king, or are you merely a miserable thief skulking in the shadows? Oh, the king, the king shield. That must be the flame skeleton. It must have been the king. And there's the fetish rissus. Sorry, I felt very necessary to uh, walk at a cool man um, pace <laughs> after hearing that uh, song and dance. Alright, so... 
Oops, excuse me. Wait, turn the music down, didn't it? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. You don't need armor. Barbarian's muscles are the loner armor. Look how beefy this guy is. Ridiculous. Unfortunately, I don't think he has gas like Shadow Man, so that doesn't count. Good night. This is the zoom out in the intro. <laughs> cool. Pretty much probably designed just for that camera to fly through. I guarantee you that camera is some sort of entity that flies through. Well, you don't have to ragdoll your feet when you fall. That's a good way to break your shins. Alright, going down to the tomb, Tomb of Ephira. This is where the, the legend of maybe possible great weapons are held. So let's look for it. That must be your tomb. And armor sets. Dwarf light armor. Not in reach. <laughs> and over here... Knight light armor. Type of armor not for me. <laughs> We want to find some barbarian armor, man. That'd be awesome. But something tells me barbarians aren't going to get much armor. Whoa, jeez. That could have hurt. Free camera. I'm not... I've seen better days. Oh, these are level one skeletons. <laughs> wow. Maybe I'll level up though, because I'm very, very close. Got a little atmosphere going on here, I like it. Great sounds in this game. Hey. Oh, they were both there. <laughs> Sorry. Boy, it's very quiet. I might want to heal up, but we'll see. And I would say this is the second boss, Stone Golem. <laughs> but he's big, he's hurts, but he's slow. He's very slow. Excuse me. Come on over here. Oh, don't throw rocks at me, Jesus. Well, I don't know that wouldn't really hurt. Kind of, kind of a really wimpy throw that was. Whoa, watch it. And don't hit him face on, man. Oh, shit. Freaking crazy. Come on. One more hit for you, baby. I'll throw some at you. Oh, that, that actually is fitting for how creepy that sword is. 
So it looks like we don't really need blunt weapons, so let's get rid of the spike club. Because to finish this level, you actually have to pick up this sword. The enemy has outpaced you once again and taken this place. Though the tombs of the king and queen have not yet been desecrated, they contain powerful weapons that will be of great assistance. Other fell creatures have joined the orcs and the trolls, undoubtedly the fruits of necromancy. Could it be that a wizard or sorcerer is behind all this destruction? The marking of the tower and the eye on the map is undoubtedly the strongest clue 